Hey, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. In this episode, I'm going over the second smallest room in the house, which is the main bathroom. And as you can see, it's not really hoarded. This is one of the rooms I can maintain and that I can clean on a weekly basis because there are rooms that I can actually, you know, keep somewhat organized. Now, here's the countertop and, you know, that's a little toothpaste station, if you will. And, you know, just there's little uh, solution bottles and stuff. Eye, eye contact solutions can be put away. But I don't have a hoarded, you know, countertop. I clearly can clean this sink. So it, I am very capable of keeping rooms clean. But with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declutter it because, I mean, that could look a little nicer. And then I got this little thing right up here that can be organized better with the contacts and random things. And then we can look, there's room in here. I just got to sort through what's, you know, up there. There's some stuff on the top of this that can be, you know, put away or something with it. And so this is going to be pretty easy, right? This will be pretty easy, fairly quick. Just give it a deep scrub. Um, there are things over here in that corner. Yeah, so there's a little hoarded area that kind of started, right? It's starting to multiply the kids' toys and different shampoos and stuff. That can be organized and put somewhere else. And then my husband actually had made this uh, vanity. Isn't it nice? But we didn't put the, do the, uh, the doors on it yet. But there's a lot of stuff under there <laughs> that could definitely be cleaned and organized. And uh, let's see, anything behind here? Nope, I mean the kids' towel, bath towels and stuff, they're hanging by the hooks. But for the most part, this'll be a quick win. This'll be really easy. I'm just gonna give it a, a deep scrub, like, you know, do all the, the walls and everything. And uh, clean out this little cabinet up here that I opened. And then get this little thing right down here, this little corner. So this'll take me a day. This'll take one day to get done. So at least this will be another quick win for me. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna work on is this cabinet right here. So we're gonna go through, uh, empty it out, and then clean the whole thing out, and then uh, put it all back in. So we'll be tossing some things, because I'm sure there's some expired things in here. So we have some deodorant, we'll put that to the side. Uh, some more deodorant, I actually love this, the Primal Pit Paste, it's a natural deodorant. I really like this, this is what I use. Let's see, eye contact solution that has expired. We can throw that away. Uh, mac and cheese band-aids. Uh, let's see, um, this was just Hal's like uh, hair ties. And you know what, here is a whole bunch of hair ties that look, oh my God, oh my God, look at the hair in there, I gotta clean this out. These can be tossed. Oh my God, that's really bad. <laughs> An eye contact thing, let's see. Uh, old medicine that I'll never use because it's probably expired little brush for when the, my husband cuts the boy's hair. All right, let's see. We can really move through this pretty fast, like emptying this out and sorting. This is not gonna take long. We can throw that out. I think um, we can wash this out. My friend used to actually make homemade deodorant, but she stopped doing it. Um, she just hasn't done it. I guess she kind of, she's working a lot more, but so I'm just gonna clear that container out and probably just, uh, what you'll call it, um, maybe use it for a craft or something. Wow, a lot of nasty old hair ties that I can toss because I just bought new packs of hair ties. So a lot of these are gonna be getting trashed and oh my God, there's hair in there. How terrible is that? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> and okay, an old jar of Primal Pit Paste. Um, yeah, okay, I have no idea why that's in there. That can be recycled very quickly. So we got that one done, and then up here we have more like the Band-Aids. So lots of Band-Aid boxes, cool Band-Aid boxes, lots of Band-Aid boxes that I can condense. We don't need this many. Yeah, Laticane, there's just a lot of stuff. Oh, sorry, gotta put this stuff down. I can't hold it all. Um, ha, more for me. Let's see, and eye contact, more disinfectant eye contact solution. Big band-aids, icy hot. Very old aloe that is no longer good. You wanna hear how old this aloe is? You wanna hear a story behind it? Here's Ram Hoarder. 
guess how old this aloe is. I didn't even know it was in this cabinet um, since my honeymoon. That's where I got it from. You know what my honeymoon was? 2007. I kid you not. That's bad. I gotta throw that away. <laughs> that is really bad. Okay, so what's up here? Let me see. Oh boy, all kinds of dusty, dirty stuff. Let's see, some stuff for the hooves, some uh, contacts. Oh, those are good. Oh look, there's even some, uh, even more band-aids. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of band-aids. And, okay, so that could be put somewhere. This is the uh, cotton swabs. It doesn't belong up here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so dusty and dirty. Actually, I gotta put it here because there's no more room on my sink to put on uh, matches. Wow, this is bad. Okay, this can go in a place too. These are the letters that go for their baths. I don't even know what this is, but it is so disgusting. All right, so I cleared the top half off. Let's come down here because I put everything. Yeah, so let's just, let's even get these little things. Let's just take it all out, wash it down, put like with like, get rid of stuff, right? And then just have it nice and organized. All right, let's see. So now I'm almost there, I'm almost there. All right, so now this thing is pretty much completely cleaned off. I just gotta get that bucket down. I am going to give it a really good scrubbing and then come back and organize it, toss some of that stuff off that's old because there's clearly some old stuff. There's clearly gross things in here that could be tossed out and then reorganize it. Okay, so I went through the whole thing, scrubbed it down, and I mean I scrubbed it down because it was really gross. And look, did that whole uh, Kamari thing in the sense of like putting like with like, organizing everything, putting uh, all the contact stuff up here. Well, the my husband's uh, contacts up here, his glasses, the band-aids up here. This has been completely scrubbed off because that was so disgusting. I can't believe I let it get that disgusting. Um, yeah, so I did it. I cleaned this out. This is now functional. I now get to use all three of my little things. I made these little things. Again, I'm crafty, that's my passion. So um, I made these little jars with a little mason jars, put a little twine and a little pretty uh, lace ribbon on it. And I had made three, but only one was in there. And now I get to display all three of them. And I think that looks really nice. So that takes care of this little cabinet, tossed a lot of stuff out because a lot of it was old, like really old and uh, feeling good. So we're gonna move to the next uh, section. All right, so let's get this little corner so we can get that cleaned up. And there's a lot of dust going on over here, but this is accumulating and I don't want this growing and expanding when things can be put away. So Clorox wipes, obviously that can go back under the sink where it belongs. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that whole Kamari thing and just put all the, uh, what you will call bath toys together and see exactly what we have big boat big boat needs to be probably cleaned out and uh okay so random stuff so trash pack guys and yeah all these things don't belong in the bathroom a little voice changer thing yeah these things can get out um oh my god an old uh speaking soda because i was cleaning with that because it's really good to clean Bouncy balls, bouncy balls don't belong in here. And you know what, here is, we have so much body wash, sham, like shampoo, like we really, how much do we have? So what I'm gonna do with some of these, because I have so many extra ones, is that um, at uh, the kids' school, they have a um, Hurricane Florence relief thing where you're packing brand new shampoo, conditioner, toothbrushes, toothpastes, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna donate some of these because I still have a lot in our linen closet of body wash and shampoo and conditioner. So there's really no need to have so much of it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and send that to the school. That way um, I can donate some of it, teach the kids to do something good. And let's get that out of the way. And now we got a clean corner and it just really needs to be scrubbed out because you can see that um, it just needs to be scrubbed out. So that's good. That was fairly quick to go through that little corner and moving on to the next space.